tonight, this woman, Melissa Miller, sitting in jail, sentenced to 20 years in prison for killing her roommate, Annie Meyer. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen has been covering the story since day one. Jacqueline, a lot of social media reactions of the sentencing, thinking 20 years for murder isn't enough. Well, the sentence was part of a plea bargain. Annie's family agreed to in order to avoid a trial. So today, Miller pled guilty to second-degree murder in an emotional hearing with finally some answers about what happened to Annie. Post call 13 CR 36 people versus Melissa Miller. After months of denying anything to do with her roommate Annie Meyer's death, Melissa Miller finally says the word people in this courtroom have been waiting to hear. Murder in the second degree, a class two felony. How do you plead? Guilty. Guilty. But is that enough, considering court records now unsealed show Melissa confessed to detectives that back in February, she struck Annie with a walking stick, wrapped her head in plastic wrap, and left her to die in the mountains. That is so hard to get out of my mind, and I never will. Prosecutors say it was all about greed. Melissa took Annie's money, spent it at casinos, while family and friends desperately searched for her. A lot of sleepless nights. I took five and a half weeks off and searched. I hope that someday I can hike again without looking for a body. In court, Melissa did not speak for herself, her attorney reading a statement. This is a case about a single disastrous moment in time that Melissa Miller would take back if she could. But she can't. Annie Myers described as an author, an athlete, a poet. She worked hard and played hard and loved her family and friends. Her only downfall was her generosity. In court today, Melissa Miller is already making plans to see her friends and family next. Howard. Those closest to Annie Meyer will never have that chance again. Annie's family says they are relieved to put this nightmare behind them. They almost all live in Minnesota, and they've driven here nine times in the last nine months. But they say Melissa could be eligible for parole in 13 years, and they will be here for every parole board hearing, asking that she doesn't get out a day early. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.